Hi there. Today we're talking about lens hoods and do you really need them for your photography? Welcome back. My name is Brendan Diver, and if this is your first time here, I'll be giving you tips and advice on all things photography. If you want to learn more about photography, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell notification icon so you won't miss any videos in the future. Lens hoods, these funny plastic things, what do they do? Why do they come in different shapes and sizes? And how do I choose the right one? And do I actually need one for my photography? So, what's the purpose of the lens hood? Well, it serves two functions. The main function is to shade the front of your lens to keep unwanted light, for example, from the sun, from falling across the front elements of your lens and causing unwanted flares or an unwanted washed out low contrast look. Now, you might have other light sources coming from other strange angles from your environment. So you will put the lens hood on to shield the front of your lens and protect it from that stray light. Now, you might though intentionally for some artistic reasons try to create a lens flare for more of a washed out look. Some lenses are more prone to lens flare than others, but if you want all the blacks in your image to be a little bit blacker, the color to be a little bit more saturated, we need to prevent that smear of glare across the lens. So that's the basic purpose of a lens hood. Now, it'll also do another function. It'll actually shade your lens just like you would shade your eyes when you're out in really, really bright sunlight. So if you say, for example, you're wearing a baseball cap and you've got that peak over your eyes to keep the sun out, this is what a lens hood will do as well. It'll make everything sharper, crisper, and easier to see with good colors and good contrast. The second reason to use a lens hood is that the hood provides kind of a physical protector to the front of your lens. So imagine you're out with your lens on your camera and it's down by your side with a big long strap. Accidents can and do happen as you're moving around. So say for example, if you're walking from one room to another, you could accidentally bump your camera lens on maybe a door going through a table or a chair and this will actually stop your lens from actually getting damaged as well. Another reason is sometimes you can get fingerprints, you can get smears and smudges. This can be happen without you actually knowing it. So the lens hood will actually prevent you from getting these on your front of your lens. There are a few exceptions, of course, where you don't want to have the hood on. And I'll talk about those in a moment. In general, I like to keep the lens hood on all the time indoors and at night because you can still get stray light that causes flares. You can bang your lens into anything really without knowing about it and cause a lot of expensive damage to your lens. There are situations where you don't want to have the hood on your lens. First of all, um, as I said previous, if you are going to go for some kind of artistic effect, I will take the hood off and let the light go across your lens. And this may give you a nice washed out artistic look. But some of the higher quality lenses, this might be a little bit more difficult because you've got better glass coatings to try and prevent this. Another reason is if you're out doing, say, for example, people photography, street photography, you might want to stay a little bit more inconspicuous. So by actually having a lens hood on, people are very highly tuned into noticing when someone's looking at them. So if you do have a big, long lens on, like, say, a 7200 with a hood on, people are going to notice you a lot, lot more and they're going to be more conscious. So another reason why you might want to take the lens hood off now, if you're using the built-in pop flash, that flash is so close to your lens that the hood can cast a shadow on your subject, so you might want to take the hood off. If you're out and you've forgotten your hood you and you need some shade in it, you can always just shoot one-handed and provide that shade with your free hand. If it's too hard for you to shoot one-handed, say for example with a big long lens, get a friend to hold their hand up and provide shade on the front of your lens, or hold an object up and make shade. Now, if there's nobody around, you can just position yourself behind some objects that's making shade to block the light that's falling on the front of your lens. Now, a great tip for you when you're carrying your lens is a lot of lens hoods are reversible. In other words, that when you take them off, you can turn them around backwards on your lens and put them on. So when you're packing away your camera and lens in a camera bag, it takes up an awful lot less space. If you leave it though in this position for taking photographs, you are going to find it difficult to zoom in and out. So if you've got the hood with you, turn it around and make sure you have it on the right way. If you need to be able to shoot fast, you might as well leave your lens cap off and leave the hood on for protection. That way you don't have to keep pulling the camera out with the lens cap off when you need to get a shot really, really quickly. Many people when they stand for photography for the first time are confused about the different types and styles of lens hoods. I know when I first got my first DSLR, I saw these other lens hoods that photographers were using and they were all different shapes and sizes. But I found out after a while that they were for different purposes. But don't worry if you're confused, it's really, really simple. There's only one hood for each lens, so you don't have to make any choices. Why do they come in with different shapes and styles? 
Well, that's because each hood is designed to be optimal for the focal length range of the lens that it goes on. There is two different styles of lens hoods. This kind is called a petal style or a flower style hood, and it's usually designed to go on a wide angle lens, typically a wide angle zoom. It has this shape because it's the best compromise between trying to provide shade for the front of your lens and not getting a piece of the hood in your shot when you're zoomed into wide angle. If it does happen that you're seeing parts of your hood in your shots, this means that you haven't got the lens hood on properly. It's probably about 90 degrees out of its proper position. So just make sure that you fully rotate it on and that way you'll find that you won't get any vignetting or shading on the side. Now, many fixed lenses, for example, prime or long range uh, zooms have a hood and that's more like this tube style and it's more protective because it doesn't need the cut out shape that you see in a pedal hood because it's used for long range zoom like a 70 to 200 mm lens. Its entire field of view is a lot, lot smaller when zoomed in and it never gets wide enough that you're gonna need those cutouts like you would see in a hood like this. So the shape of the hood is determined by the nature of your lens. I just buy the one that's designed for your lens. Some lenses come with them and some don't. For example, this Canon 50 mm lens. If I had to spend a little extra at the time of purchase, get the hood for your lens, it'd be well worth it. It's a really, really good investment.